Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler. I was wanting to go ahead and show you guys the XIQ app from Behringer, which is an application for the iPhone for mixing the bus uh, sends on the X32. Uh, so uh, we would use this if one of our musicians was using in-ears or headphones um, off of one of the buses of the X32 as their monitor. Uh, so then they're able to go ahead and mix their own uh, monitor using this application. Uh, I'd be a little bit weary uh, or, and cautious of putting this application in the hands of someone if they were using a live uh, floor monitor or something that could uh, create feedback back into the mic. Um, I My kind of personal philosophy is if... Uh, if there's going to be feedback, it's going to be something from my fault, not somebody else um, as far as levels go. You know, dropping a mic down near a, a monitor is a different story. But um, I want to be able to control the levels if it's a open floor wedge type monitor where it's actually producing audio. Uh, but if it is an isolated monitor, uh, something that's either uh, very quiet or uh, headphones or something, this is a great uh, application for your studio, um, for your musicians, sorry, to use. Uh, so first things first, we are going to go ahead and connect the iPhone. Uh, and by the way, this is only for iPhone. They don't have it for uh, Android uh, quite yet. So we have the iPhone 4 um, here. It is jailbroken. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's connected to D-Mobile. Neat. Um, but it, it works on the iPhone 5. And it works on the 3GS, all, all of the different ones it works on. Uh, so we want to go ahead and connect the iPhone to the network of the X32. Um, so I'm going to pull up my settings here, and we are going to go and connect to the X32. Already entered in the password previously, so. And we'll scroll all the way back over to the XIQ. So we're going to go ahead and open it, and it'll pop up like this. And so we have, going from the top down, we have our IP address. Uh, our status info uh, basically tells us if we're online or not. Uh, demo mode, uh, this is if you wanted to go ahead and play uh, with the app and kind of get familiarized with the application um, without it actually being connected to something. And then MCA wheel, and I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Uh, so first thing what we want to do is we want to get the IP address of the X32 put into the iPhone app. So the way that we do that is we click into this light gray box, and we can use the rotary wheels going up and down to um, enter in the IP address of the mixer. So in our case, 192.168.201.2. And once we do that, click out here. Uh, demo mode, you will want to turn off if we are connecting to the X32 and then it will automatically connect. So you can now see, uh, if we take our finger and scroll down, that we can see all of our 16 um, buses on the X32, and it will give you the names. So it is the names that are programmed into the X32 are the same names that will be uh, displayed in this. So uh, if your musician is using, uh, in our case, in your monitor three, uh, we can then go select uh, IEM3, and then we will press done. And let's not use that one. Let's actually go and uh, do six here. There we go. All right. Now, um, I need to clean this out real quick so I can show you guys this. Hold tight one second. Sorry. Apparently, I still had stuff left over from when I was playing with it earlier. Okay, so um, when it pops up, it may look like this, okay? And so it lo by the looks of it, you can see that there's four banks, and we have four buttons here. Now, this app is uh, responsive to either vertical or a horizontal um, situation. Uh, so if we orientate the phone horizontally, uh, you can see that there is the mix, and we can go through, and now we can see the entire mix on the board uh, as far as what's being sent into, the, into this monitor. Uh, now, if we go ahead and put it vertical again, um, then we can now see uh, kind of our preset saved um, into these four banks. Now, to put a channel into this, we can click down here, and then we can click one of our channels. 
And then the next one, we can put our bass guitar. And then the next one, say, our electric guitar. And then the last one, uh, the snare. Okay. And so then to get out of this screen, we will click one of these down here again. And now we can see faders of these four different things. So if I was wanting to turn up this channel, I would basically take my finger and click and bring it up or down. And um, then if I was wanting to do something else, it would do the same thing. Uh, the app is not, it, it is multi-touch. Um, it's, uh, it's just a little finicky uh, as far as um, where you touch. Um, so anyway, the other thing that you can do is you can program groups into this. Now, uh, the MCA wheel, I'm going to turn off so I can show you guys what it looks like before. Um, but if I was to go ahead and take all of the drums and put them here. So I'm going to go ahead and use right here. We're going to select all of the drums. And so you can see that there's little fours right here. And then if I scroll up, you can see a one, a two, a three. The little red uh, with the number basically means uh, which slot it's in. Okay, so now that we have all of the drums in four, you can now see that there is a big fader. Um, and this is now a fader as a, uh, as a group. Um, so you are now turning up all of the channels and turning down all of the channels that are in this group. Um, and so if we, um, if we turn this up all the way, you'll see this little red thing comes on. This means that uh, the channels are going to uh, be uh, very hot, <laughs> one, and they are maxed out. Uh, also, this means that they would probably be uh, clipping if you are running your uh, levels correctly. So you'll want to instruct your um, your musicians a little bit on how to use this. Also, the meters in this do work. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have... Well, I could put a pastor here. Um, so the meters do work on this. There we go. So you can see me talking. Um, so if we were to turn this all the way up, um, you know, there's not going to be any ill effects uh, because I'm not uh, peeking out. But you'll want to teach your, um, your musicians some sort of signal flow um, and level adjustment on this. Um, but, okay, so the next thing is showing you that MCA wheel. So we are going to go back to the settings and you turn on use MCA wheel. And now what this does is it makes it a wheel that you adjust up and down versus needing to press and move that big uh, group fader. You are just using a wheel to go up and down as far as the uh, groups go. The individual microphones uh, or channels would still be on a single fader. Um, so I can have my drums here. I could have both of my guitars on this one. And then here I could have, um, say, all my vocalists... Uh, the choir, the grand piano, our keyboard, all of that stuff, and then, you know, my, my personal self right here. Um, so then now you can see that I have these three different groups that I can move up and down, and my um, personal mic up and down. So that is a really quick version of how this thing works. Uh, but then if we turn this horizontal... Um, we can see the um, see it in a, a a whole board sense. So if I go ahead and turn this um, back down here, and then rotate this like here, so you can now adjust individual channels and be able to scroll and see all of the inputs on the board in the way that it's laid out on the board. So it, it runs in, in channel uh, groups of eight, just like uh, just the normal way that the board reacts. Oops. And so you can also see that the faders do work. All right, so anyway, if you guys have any, feel, uh, any questions, feel free to post below, but that's a real kind of just quick run through of how this uh, app works. Um, I've had some of my musicians running it, um, and it, it seems to work great. The lock uh, up here is for locking in uh, in your, uh, you, basically your bus. Um, so if you have a, a vocalist that wants to have this app um, 
you know, programmed, you can go ahead and install it on there um, and then basically just go in and lock the app and then um, you're able to um, lock in which bus they're on. And that way they don't have to worry about being on a different bus uh, accidentally or something like that. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to post below. Uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later.